Hello, everyone. Welcome to week 12 of World Geography in semester two. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick synopsis of the content we'll be covering over the week. Let's look at the lessons that we will be covering. The first is living in Northern Eurasia, Northern, Northern Asia at work, challenges facing Northern Eurasia, Eurasia's mini game exercises through a review, and current events. Some of the big questions that we'll be covering are, where do people live in Northern Eurasia? What's its cultural makeup like? What kinds of governments rule Eurasia? And what are some strengths and weaknesses of the Russian government? We'll be breaking these down more throughout our lessons into smaller questions, but these are the major ones you want to kind of pay attention to before we have any quizzes or exams. So then we'll move on into living and working in Eurasia. So this is the one that we'll start off with. Throughout this specific lesson, we're going to be really focusing on um, indicating where people live in this region and the cultural makeup. So we'll look at the landscape and you know the, where natural resources are found most in terms of geographical features and population density, specifically in Central Asian republics. So we'll be looking at that. Um, you guys are familiar with population density and the climate map of the region so that we can see what the reasons are. Um, of why people stay certain places or why they prefer certain places. We'll then watch a video on the importance of Cox nations. So why is Northern Eurasia so ethnically diverse? Um, how many you know cultures is it comprised of? And so forth. We'll be filling out maps throughout this lesson um, as we read through a lot of the um, you know Savas passages and the handouts that are going to be given to you. And we'll look at how cultural diversity, um, you know, creates or what the actual, you know, how it has an effect on the citizens um, in government. How does it help make up a strong um, government or a limited role uh, for citizens in a government? You know, what's the effect of that or how does it help shape that? Then we'll look at the challenges facing this region. So we'll look at environmental challenges, um, and how an increase in agricultural production through technology has its disadvantages. Um, we'll look at the Green Revolution and what that is. Um, we'll also look at the RLC and see why um, it has been shrinking. So we'll look at that and discuss it through some debates and class uh, collective class discussions. Then um, as we, this is a very quick unit um and weeks so we're going to be reviewing some major cultural and environmental and political matters that we um encountered throughout these lessons in savas um by kind of practicing them a little bit more or narrowing down what we have to know so we will be conducting a crossword exercise a crossword puzzle exercise for the environmental terms so these help you narrow down which words you need to know the best and then the economic term um flashcards where you guys will be printing these and asking each other questions about the concepts and how they're applicable to the Eurasia region. Okay. Um, the last thing is some of the activities as mentioned. So these are very generic. Well, they're very specified on um, Savas and throughout classes. So we'll definitely have interactive galleries, especially when we look at the shrinking of the sea, interactive maps, graph analysis for population density and climate. Um, some role play when we do encounter pieces of history um, and the types of governments when we're talking about authoritative governments and dictatorships, um, lesson checks, and the current news, obviously, for F that we do through the 5W lens on a weekly basis. So if you have any questions or are struggling throughout this, feel free to reach out in person or email me. Um, good luck uh, with your studying this week, and make sure you're catching up on your assignments. Thank you so much.